What is up, people of the planet Osiris here with Osiris Gaming, doing another episode of Path of Exile Map Edition. Boys and girls, we are on our 11th episode, going through all 126 different maps here. we got a long ways to go. Today we're going to be exploring the Vol Pyramid, which is pretty much the complete opposite of the one we just ran. If you guys didn't watch the last one, go ahead and backtrack at least one episode. If not, why don't you just watch the whole playlist, then you'll know exactly what we're talking about and what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw an extra 5% quantity from our girl Xana. We always talk about her. Um, so if you remember, the last one was more of corridors just going down. This one's a ball pyramid, so we're going to be going up some staircases as they gradually get smaller and smaller. From my experience in this map so far, it is usually quite a long one in comparison to some of its map brethren. Um, like the canals where it was extremely short and we pretty much blew through it in a matter of a couple minutes or so. It was kind of a uh, shocking cartographer chisel on the ground. Don't know if you guys know, but if you do sell 40% worth of superiority or quality on any kind of map, you just need to do a total of 40, you will gain yourself a gem cutter's prism in the... Ooh, that was a close volatile blood there. Uh, you will gain a Cortographer Chisel in the vendor if you sell it properly. If you're not getting the Cortographer Chisel, that means you haven't reached that 40% threshold or there is something else wrong with your uh, whatever you're trying to sell to her or him. Uh, so it's a good way to get up your Cortographer Chisels. Uh, I kind of go back and forth. Six link on the or six socket on the floor, guys. Sorry, don't get don't get surprised. I'll I'll be blown up the day I get an actual six link on the floor. I mean. I'm going to be maxing out the capabilities of this microphone when that day comes. Anyways, back to the vendors. Um, so yeah, I go back and forth on whether or not, you know, selling multiple maps to gain a qu one Cortographer's Chisel is really even worth it. Um, but I don't know. I've never, I've never been able to calculate the difference between a 20 quality map and a zero quality map. So, you know, it could be something completely, I mean, you could just get drops for days and I'm just missing out, never know. Why don't you go ahead and comment in the comments below uh, if you have done, you know, a 20% quality map versus the same exact one with zero quality. Was it was it a big difference? Was it, you know, was it well worth the 20 cartographer's chisels that you're gonna dump into that? That seemed to be very hard to come across. Um, I do want to get completion on this guys a little bit, so I'm not going to go through that door just quite yet because that is our goal in all of these maps on the series is to gain completion, mainly because it's just so easy for us to be zipping around here. I don't want you guys to miss a beat, right? I know I'm right. All right, watch out for the explosions all over the floor from those things. They do hurt quite a bit, no matter what your current level is. Um, Let's go ahead and take a check at our DPS. I believe I hit 70k, guys. Check that out. I'm almost at 72,000 DPS. I have overshot my 70k expected DPS for this character. I am blown away by it, guys. And obviously, uh, the creatures that I am killing are equally, if not even more, blown away by my amazing DPS powers. Uh, because that is just quite astonishing. Um, I've never quite reached anywhere near that. I think Base Breakers was as close as I ever got to 70k and that was stuck in like the 42,000 range and I thought that was just redonkulous, right? Alright, we got two upgrades. I think one of them is just our little uh, helper right here though, right? Oh no, it's a Herald device. Let's check it out. We're at 72 basically. We are now at 72 third, plus 300 remainder. Um, so, that, you know, that was about a 500... Uh, 400 DPS upgrade right there. Still pretty decent, guys, especially, you know, when you're in this end um, DPS range. It is kind of a bit of a slow crawl as you go up since each upgrade you get is either going to be a significant upgrade because you finally got something awesome, factory map on the floor, or it's going to be a small upgrade because you just found something that had slightly higher rolls than the current item you're wearing. Uh, so I will take the 500 DPS, guys. Uh, we still don't even have our 6 link, which means that this build has even more potential than I could think of. We're going to throw up a portal just in case I make a fool of myself in here. Now this ma this boss is the three different bosses that you pretty much fight before the or after the humans in the Dominus fight. Um, oh, look at that. We got ourselves an iron circlet. There should be one more fool that popped around unless I killed two of them at the same time. Nope, there it is. That would have been pretty astonishing. This one just yells with a, a freeze pulse that's blood oriented. Added chaos damage support. That's a good one to find, guys. That's that's pretty uh, not common. I'm going to grab that as well. Uh, and the leather belt because I did do 
the 20 chaos orb transactions guys that's right i'm at almost 80 chaos i believe it's pretty awesome i haven't spent any of it because this character obviously doesn't really need that much help right now um but yeah let's just take a big gander 72 chaos orbs guys go over to the chaos tab look how much i already have saved up remember this was filled this was completely filled the other day you guys saw it i know you saw it if you didn't see it, go back and watch it, guys. Stop watching things out of order. Start from the beginning. It's got a story. I've told you character development and all that jazz. Anyways, that was the Vol Pyramid, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and slap that like button below. Comment about anything, any suggestions, comments, you know, things you did today. I'll write back maybe if I find it interesting enough. But if you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well while you're down there. I mean, your mouse is floating. You might as well do it, all right? This is Osiris with Osiris Gaming, and I will check in next time.